Hi guys! We are a family of six joining on an adventure trip to Hong Kong. This was my second visit to Hong Kong and the first for the rest of my family. Inda's brother, Edmond Bozon, took us to Mactan International Airport at 3.30 in the morning in time for our departure time of 6.05 a.m. Cebu Pacific Air was our airline of travel and we took off on time and arrived at Hong Kong International Airport at about 9 o'clock in the morning. When we arrived at the Hong Kong International Airport, I was dismayed because I was advised to wait for about an hour for the airport staff to pick me up from the plane with a wheelchair. So, after over an hour of waiting, the airport staff arrived and picked me up with a wheelchair. So, he took me down from the plane cleared the immigration protocols and claimed our baggages. Jonna brought us all to the Hong Kong Tourism Board Visitor Center to claim our Hong Kong goodies travel vouchers. All visitors staying in Hong Kong for less than 90 days are eligible for the Hong Kong goodies visitor consumption voucher. Visit one of the Hong Kong Tourism Board Visitor Centers on arrival to collect your visitor consumption voucher in person. The Hong Kong government is giving tourists additional Hong Kong goodies travel vouchers. Each goodie voucher is worth at least 100 Hong Kong dollars and is available for use at over 3,600 merchants across the city. The Hello Hong Kong promotional campaign aimed at luring visitors to the city with hundreds of thousands of free plane tickets and million vouchers for tourists to spend on their holidays in Hong Kong. After claiming our Hong Kong goodies vouchers, Jona exchanged our US dollars with Hong Kong dollars at the global exchange outlet at the airport. We then headed to the exit gate to start exploring Hong Kong.
the hassle from the airplane and the burn house your experience with the uh, uh, arriving airport. here at the airport arrival area <laughs> uh, boo. <laughs> boo. yeah because they didn't prepare the wheelchair of our auntie burn even though the Cebu Pacific has already informed Hong Kong airport about it anyway so after that after we arrived we directly went to claim our HK goodies and after claiming our HK goodies we um, have an exchange for around 130 USD which is equal to around 1000 HKD and then afterwards we loaded our octopus cards which I just got uh, some are borrowed and some are bought secondhand from my friend so we just loaded them 100 HKD each and then now we're finally here looking um, just waiting for the S1 bus going to city gate outlets so yeah see you there later <laughs> took this two-decker bus S1, which is wheelchair accessible, to take us to Citygate outlets to leave our luggages. This outlet has a luggage storage facilities for rent. The rate is 40 Hong Kong dollars for every three hours. Lucky the bus we took is not crowded, so the space was all to ourselves. The city gate outlets in Tongchong Lantau Island is in close proximity to Tongchong MTR station and Nongping 360 terminal. A leading outlet in Hong Kong, the mall features more than a hundred world-renowned premium brands as well as numerous dining hotspots and leisure facilities. We have safely stored our luggages 
we headed for the Nyungping 360 terminal for our cable car ride. Unfortunately, the bus leading to Nung Ping 360 is not wheelchair accessible, so JV had to carry me to get aboard the bus. Oh, oh, oh.